So I already told you I work at Renew Financial, and recently I've had to deal a lot with um, with resource management and like assignments and stuff like that. And uh, because I am at heart a developer, I wrote an app for it. But this is not actually what I wanted to talk about. Um, I wanted to talk about decorators, and uh, and it's a really small concept that I think is really fun to learn about. So um, I'll go through some simple Rails ishness and. Hopefully you'll, you'll see what's going on. So I have a basic controller. Um, it loads up some issues. Issues uh, have some subtasks. And subtasks have some people. People, it actually goes backwards as well. So sometimes I am curious more about people than other things. So um, I think you can kind of at, um, see that like subtask is actually at the core of both sides of that, which is um, actually kind of unusual. Normally like issue or user would end up being the core model, but in this case, subtask. And so if you think about recalling back towards this, like each of these blue boxes or red boxes is one um, absolutely positioned thing. How do you determine uh, you know, what date that starts on and ends on? There's going to be some math in there. And you just saw the code. It's not in the controller. It's not in any of the models. And so clearly, it has to be in the view, right? And, uh, and it kind of is, but it kind of isn't. Um, this, this line is long, but it could be a lot longer. It could be a lot more horrible. So the, the thing I did here was I uh, implemented a decorator. And the whole idea here is that we've got a subtask. I know I'm going to have to calculate some stuff with it, but it doesn't quite feel like model logic to me because it's not about storage or validation or anything about that. It's really about display. And so, um, so I created this decorator, passed it a subtask. And the whole idea of a decorator is it's an object that wraps another object that adds in some convenience methods and kind of keeps those really specific methods out of the core object. So, uh, this is the actual decorator. Um, component name doesn't super matter. Um, but then we've just got a series of methods that talk to subtasks and talk to the methods on the subtasks. And that's it. And here's what I like about it. This is the thing that actually I, I learned a lot about at Renew Financial. I would have expected that this pattern was large or complicated. Like I would have, I would have initially like looked up you know, the Draper gem or something, which is not here. Oh, wait, here it is. Um, which, I, you know, is great. It's community built. There's, uh, there's a thousand commits. It must be good. They must have thought of all the things, right? Um, and uh, it turns out that what I need is, uh, is what is the 20, 29 lines of code long. That's what I actually needed in here. Um, and all it does is it stores its main object, and if it doesn't know about a method I call, pass it to the main object. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> like, this is pretty, pretty not magical at all. Like, this is the thing. I define some methods on it, and if it doesn't know, if it doesn't know what, uh, if I call, you know, if I call some method it doesn't know, it's going to pass that to the main main object using method mixes. So that's the whole thing. That's a decorator. Uh, and I just wanted to expose one simple little pattern you can do to keep logic out of, out of models or out of controllers or out of your views, depending on what you want to get logic out of. Yeah? So one of the things you didn't mention in that list was helpers. Um, OK. And yeah. I was just curious, like, you know, if you read the Rails guide or whatever, they're not going to talk about decorators. That's and true. This looks a lot like a helper. What, what do you think of the trade-offs? Why is this better? Or where would you use this instead of a helper? Yeah. Um, uh, there is an outstanding Rails cast about this. Um, and I would encourage you to find access to a pro account um, and, and look at the service object Rails cast. But uh, the, the question he asked was about helpers and what's the difference. And the answer, I would say, is that uh, when, I, when I use a subtask decorator, you know it, because I had to call that. 
with a helper or a concern or any kind of thing that I would just include into my object, um, it's unclear to me where that method came from. And so you don't know what methods exist on that object. And, uh, and even if you do know what methods exist, you're not sure where exactly they came from unless you get into um, like Ruby's, Ruby can tell you exactly where code came from. But that, that shouldn't be necessary. You should be able to look at the code and reason about it. So, yeah. Also, uh, testability is much better with decorators. Sure, testability, right. Um, so it's much easier to test uh, this thing, which is only a couple lines long. I don't have to mix this into anything. Um, I don't have to create like a fake class and then include the, the module I want and then test the fake class to make sure that the included module actions are still there and working. Um, this just, it's testable, so. Yeah, well, I, uh, the other thing that comes to mind for me that makes me think that helpers are a little crazy is I think the default configuration with Rails is that all of your helpers are included in every single controller. <laughs> that could be, I don't know. Yeah, I, I haven't used them in a really long time. Yeah. Okay. I think it's filter, is it use filter? Yeah, I, just, yeah. I actually just ran into. Okay. So, so you run into namespace issues if you, if you have. Yeah. Like if you have an admin namespace, you might have like a product helper there and then a product helper like in your user, in your non-admin namespace and you might have like helper methods that have the, that you wanna have the same name but like do slightly different things and it gets a little crazy. Yeah, this is, uh, I think that would be termed a bag of methods module, um, which is generally considered an anti-pattern. Uh, yeah, right. I don't know, I use decorators. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I uh, just ran into this design pattern for the first time myself this week, and I ran into simple delegator. Simple delegator, okay, yeah, that's actually very, very similar. And um, if you, I believe it's actually in this article. Let me make sure. Uh, so I was just like reading up on this last night because I couldn't remember, um, and this Thoughtbot article talked about like 18 different, 18 different types of decorators and, and the uh, simple delega delegator came up at the end and his, he had a great, uh, great answer at the end. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, okay, there we go. Um, he said, do something, plain old Ruby object to begin with, something like, uh, a delegator and actually just pass it along with method missing. And if that doesn't work, drop into simple delegator and get some work done, which, which I thought was great. But I would totally recommend this article. I wish I could embiggen this URL, um, but I don't know how to do that in Chrome, so. Paste that into your text editor. <laughs> yeah, you're so clever and it's already here. <laughs> yeah, it's like I just did that. Yeah, um, Nate, you had a question. So you're you're thinking that uh, that this that the helpers were intended for things that are generally applicable and actually global um, that need to get added to every view ever, and probably that's going to be like common common formatters like my company names uh, date formatter or whatever, something like that. Lance. Ooh. So that you can use those utility helpers from your decorator. Although it starts to cross the boundary a little bit, but it's like one of the things that Draper does is the utility helpers. Okay, so the one of the values of Draper is when you want want your decorators to have the full context of the view. Is that did I get that right? Yeah. Okay, great. I figured there was a reason Draper was so popular. Um, I just didn't know it. Uh, Mad Men. Mad Men? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Could well be. Um, anyways, the, the point was decorators are cool and you can do a lot with a very small amount of code um, and, and even standard library uh, has a lot of these things like simple delegator. Very cool, you should check it out. Um, Can I just ask him a question real quick?
Oh, okay, yeah, of course, yeah. So it has access to the instance variables that the view has access to? Because um, that seems crazy. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it, it might be one of the instance generated URLs for the definition. Oh, okay. Or for these content tags or other things that generate HTML that are presentation concerns. Okay, I got it. Right, without having to like include a bunch of things or whatever every in every uh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, that actually makes sense if you if you needed that access. Okay, cool. Awesome. Thank you so much.